Welcome to Lesson 1.12's Math Moment. Today, students learned um, to estimate sums and differences to determine if their answers are reasonable. So one example we're going to look at has a few different steps, so make sure that you pay close attention. But it says, a rectangle has a length of 8 and 1 8 centimeters and a width of 5 and 3 4 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? In fifth grade, one thing that we help us uh, that we use to help us remember perimeter means to add is the T in perimeter. All right, so perimeter means to add all of the sides. Whenever I'm working with perimeter, I like to just sketch a quick shape to help me remember what I'm working with. So it says it has a length of 8 and 1 8. And I know on a rectangle, if this length is 8 and 1 8, so is this. And then a width of 5 and 3 fourths. And I know that this side of the rectangle is the same as well. So now that just kind of gives me a picture to be working with. All right, so the first thing I need to do is estimate my sum. Okay, sum means to add, which is the same as perimeter. So I'm going to estimate my sum by rounding to either my fractions to either 0, half, or 1 whole. So I have 8 and 1 eighth that I'm working with first. I know that 1 eighth. 1 is really far away from 8, so it's going to round to 0. So 8 and 1 8 is going to estimate to just 8. Then I can look at 5 and 3 fourths. I know that 3 fourths is very close, 3 fourths is very close to 4 fourths, which would be 1 whole. So 5 plus 1 whole is actually going to round to 6. So when I estimate this problem, I'm actually going to think as 8 of 8 as my length, and I'm going to think of 6 as my width. Perimeter means I add up all the sides, so I'm going to take 8 plus 8, which is 16, and 6 plus 6, which is 12, to find my final answer. 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 1 is 2, so my final estimate is 28 centimeters. Now I have to actually solve the problem and describe whether my estimate is reasonable. So I'm going to take 8 and 1 8 and 5 and 3 fourths and add them together. But I have two different sides, so I'm going to have to add 8 and 1 8 twice. 5 and 3 fourths twice, and then add together my totals. So the nice thing is my denominators are already the same. So because they're already the same, they get to stay the same. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then I work with my whole numbers. 8 plus 8 is 16. So there's my first total. Again, my denominators down here are the same, so that makes it easy. They get to stay the same. 3 plus 3 is 6. 5 plus 5 is 10. Now, I'm working with an improper fraction on this sum, but I'm going to leave it improper until the very end because it might become more improper as we go along. So now I need to take 16 and 2 eighths plus 10 and 6 fourths. These denominators are not the same, so I have to use a strategy to make them the same. I see that there's something I could do to the 4 to make it an 8 which is times 2. So I'm going to use the shortcut strategy. Anything I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. And now I have 16 and 2 eighths plus 10, and 6 times 2 is 12, 4 times 2 is 8. And now I get to add these numbers. My denominators are now the same, so they stay the same. I'm going to add 2 plus 12, which is 14, 16 plus 10, which is 26. Now, 14 eighths is still improper. So I have to divide 14 divided by 8 to make it a proper fraction. 8 can go into 14 one time, giving me 8. 14 minus 8 is 6, making my new numerator 6 and my denominator 8. 14 eighths is what I took and changed to 1 and 6 eighths. So now I need to take this answer and my whole number 26, put them 
them together to get 27 and 6 eighths as my final answer. So this is my actual answer, my real difference. I have my actual answer of 27 and 6 eighths, my estimate of 28, and if you think 6 eighths is very close to 8 eighths, so this would really round to 28, these answers are very, very close, which means my answer is reasonable and my estimate is reasonable, so my math is correct. Good luck with lesson 1.12 and see your teachers with any additional questions.